Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mark Nsengen from Techno Buffalo, and today I wanted to share with you guys some of the mods or apps that I'm currently using with my Nexus 6. Now, all of these apps require root, and not every app or mod we're showing you today will work with every device, but just as a small disclaimer, my Nexus 6 is rooted and is running the stock ROM from Google. Now, you can find all of these apps from the Google Play Store in the description below. So what does rooting your device mean? Well, rooting will give you root access to your device, which means you'll be able to access and edit the system files that Google doesn't really want you to mess with. There's always the possibility things can go wrong, so root at your own risk. So the first one on our list is the Franco kernel app. So just a quick explanation, a kernel is the lowest level of software on your device. It acts as the go-between for your device's hardware and the OS. It essentially controls the CPU and GPU speeds of your device. So with something like Franco kernel, you'll be able to control a lot of what's happening on your device in terms of hardware. If you want to set a maximum CPU or minimum CPU frequency, you'll be able to do that inside of the Franco kernel app, no problem. So if, for example, you set a max and minimum frequency, your processor is just running at those speeds. And that can take a toll on your battery life in both good and bad ways, depending on how you set those parameters. So I usually keep my CPU level stock and I've seen a huge increase in battery life and we're talking about 20 to 30% here. Now, if you don't want to mess with the CPU frequency, there are three preset profiles you can choose from that will optimize battery life and performance. While Franco Kernel is great at improving battery life, I also like the fact that I can adjust the color temperature of my device's display. Now, the Nexus 6's screen is warmer than something like the iPhone 6 or Galaxy S6, but fortunately, I was able to change the RGB parameters to my liking. Now, probably the most helpful feature is the double tap to wake feature. Just like the G4, you can turn on your screen by tapping your screen twice, it's a super handy feature that I'm sure you guys will enjoy using. Franco Kernel is available in the Google Play Store for $4.40, and I know it's a bit weird, uh, but remember, you do have to be rooted in order to take advantage of this app. So the second one on our list is Light Flow. Now on a Nexus 6, Motorola disabled the notification light for some reason, but fortunately with Light Flow, you'll be able to enable the notification light and control the notification LED on a per app basis. In addition to the notification lights, you'll also have control over the vibration patterns and sound settings. Lightful lets you control notification colors for over 600 applications and system events, such as missed calls, low battery, text messages, Facebook, Twitter, and many, many more. For certain devices that support multicolored LEDs, Lightflow will allow the colors to pulsate. So, for example, you have a text message and a missed call at the same time. The notification LED on your device will alternate between the two colors, and you can also set which notification type has the highest priority and let it flash in just that one color. Now, unfortunately, on the Nexus 6, the colors are limited to just red, green, and blue. But if your device supports multicolor LEDs, then you have more options to choose from. It's a neat little feature to have if you want to quickly see if you have a notification you might have missed without turning on your device. Lifeflow is available in the Google Play Store for $2.50. So the last one on our list is Titanium Backup. Now, Titanium Backup is probably the handiest app I've ever used. Why? It's because I can back up and restore my apps and data with just a single tap. Now, as the name suggests, the primary purpose of Titanium Backup is to back up all of your apps, data, and your device settings. You can automate these backups and also backup files to your SD card if your phone offers external storage. Now, this is especially helpful if you're planning on flashing a lot of ROMs, which will delete all of your files after each install and you can quickly restore all of your settings, apps, and data using Titanium Backup. There's also a pro version for $6, which will remove the backup and schedule restrictions, and you can also sync directly to Dropbox, Google Drive to access your files from the cloud. Now, in addition to the awesome backup features, the pro version will also allow you to completely uninstall bloatware, which I know some people just can't stand. Titanium Backup is free, but spending that extra $6 is well worth the money, and you can save a lot of time restoring apps and settings, especially if you're constantly flashing ROMs. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and we will see you guys in the next one.